That's hot. Okay, so the idea now is to go ahead and put this PVC sleeve in this mast hole. And what I'm trying to do is to figure out the, the angle of this PVC sleeve, which is obviously going to determine the angle of the mast once it's inside that sleeve. Okay, that has the mast with just a slight backwards rake. You can see if you compare it to this, uh, this porch pole back there. It's probably raked back maybe mm, two degrees at the very most, I would say. I don't know. To my eye, I feel like that looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm just going to place the thickened epoxy covered block in place. Right there is where it needs to be. Let's put a couple of clamps on there. I'll pull the back down. I'll drop a couple of dive weights back there. Just like that. Let's see. There's a there's a slightly better shot down the mast hole. Uh, you can see the little drain I put in down there, and hopefully you can see that dark ring just inside the pipe. That is the that is the uh, mark I used to line it up, along with the you know divider mark directly down the middle. Anyways, thought you'd like to actually see my mast hole. Okay, so here's another little project we're going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be installing these two inspection ports and these two. Uh, towing U-bolts onto the back of the boat. And what you're looking at, I mean, that's the stern section of the boat. It's standing up on end. So I'm going to be putting one of these inspection ports on this side, and I'm going to be putting one on this side. And that's going to do a couple things. I mean, uh, one, it's obviously going to add a little bit of storage inside these, uh, inside these um, buoyancy tanks, is what they're called. Um, it's also going to allow us access to the inside in case there gets some, you know, in case there's moisture on the inside, uh, you know, we can clean that out or let it air out so that it doesn't rot. And then finally, it is going to allow me to install these U-bolts. One's going to be on this back corner, and another one's going to be on that back corner. And, uh, you know, I could have put it up high like this, and, you know, the back ends would have been kind of poking through right here. But that would kind of interfere with this handhold, and I didn't want that. So, um, you know, having this hole right here is going to allow me to mount these, you know, a little bit lower on the uh, transom. And it's going to hide the, uh, you know, the back ends of these bolts because it'll actually be inside the buoyancy tank. So that is my next little project. Oh, 
Okay, the rear U-bolts have been installed and uh, they are actually just sitting in there right now. They're not uh, permanently attached. Uh, I'll do the final installation once this is painted. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much how they will be. And then I've got these, these holes are cut out. I went ahead and painted the inside of these buoyancy tanks. And these inspection ports will sit in there just like that and yeah again same same thing here i'm gonna wait till everything is painted to do the final installation of you know hardware you know on the boat but yeah this project is basically done okay so the next thing i have to do is scrub down all of these surfaces that have that nice shiny epoxy on it see that up there and i have to make it look like this all scuffed up and i'm using this uh I think this is probably like 120 grit sandpaper. So yeah, just have to scuff it up so that the paint has something to stick to. That's called giving it tooth. And I'm not sure whether you're giving the paint tooth or the surface tooth. Yes, I'm uh, almost positive that I'm certain that you call it tooth and not teeth. But anyways, that's what I'm doing, scrubbing these shiny surfaces with sandpaper. Are you going to be my girl? Alright, just finished putting uh, two layers of fiberglass just along the mm, just the center line of the bottom of the boat. I almost called it a keel, but I don't believe this is a keel in this case. Uh, this is the dagger board slot that I've covered up. Once again, I'll just have to cut that back open. But yeah, this will give it some additional protection when we're dragging this thing up and down a beach. Yep. Okay, so we just got these things installed. I got this one here, and I've got a little L-shaped bit right there. And a little L-shaped bit right there. And the purpose of those is to support this forward seat. It slides in like that. And then drops in. And then it's supported on that end. This corner, this corner, and then right down the center as well. And then this filler piece here plugs up this slot. I need to sand a little bit off of this guy. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, that's how it works. And then this seat could just pop up right here, like that. And then this piece pops up right here, like that. This is what I'm working on now. This is going to end up being the, shoot, what do you call this? Oh, the skeg. That is going to be the skeg. Uh, the main thing this does for us is it helps the boat kind of track uh, when you are rowing it or towing it. And uh, there's, uh, you know, the plans don't really give you specific details on, you know, how to build this thing or what dimensions to use. So I'm just kind of making it up. I do have this uh, stainless steel you know, strip here on the top to kind of help for, you know, grounding this thing or, you know, dragging it up a beach, something like that. And I also, I don't know if you can tell or not, maybe you can tell a little bit better if I put it down here. Uh, I changed the angle a little bit from up here where this metal piece is. I drop it off maybe, you know, just a few degrees right there to ensure that this surface is what rubs 
um, you know, if this uh, skeg contacts the ground, you know, which it will. I don't even know how big of a difference that, uh, you know, those fused degrees are going to make, but who knows, it'll help. All right, I've got the skeg clamped in over here, and I am going to over drill the holes that this hardware is going to go into. So I'm going to make them this big so that I can fill them with epoxy and then drill the final hole in the epoxy because, you know, this thing's going to be underwater a lot. So I want to be sure that this thing is really, you know, completely waterproof and, you know, this is kind of a theme I've uh, carried through the entire bo boat is making these oversized epoxy holes. So I'm just going to continue that theme now. Okay, so here is the skeg once again, and the holes that I over-drilled and filled with uh, fiberglass thickened epoxy have now cured. I sanded those down flat. Now, I'm basically just going to, I'm going to epoxy this right here, you know, it, it, epoxy it into position, and then I'll come back, and the last thing I will do is uh, drill the final holes and put in the hardware. I can just imagine some people watching these videos who really know what they're doing, probably just shaking their heads at some of this stuff. I don't know what to tell you. Doing the best I can here. again so i dream of a man whose hopes never end to kiss with a girl who's as lovely as you i'd give you my heart if you gave me the truth and for every tear that is lost by me The mass step and the, I don't know, retainer collar, I guess you can call it, and I put a nice big thick um, uh, reinforced fiberglass fillet around this thing, and then I filled in the crack with more uh, fiberglass and epoxy. So that thing looks pretty darn solid, if you ask me. Uh, I'm going to work on... Uh, I'm going to work on this fillet a little bit more just to get it nice and smooth and make a nice curve down into the pipe from this surface. And let's see, the epoxy has set up on my little drain pipe down here. So now I just need to, now I just need to trim where the pipe exits this uh, locker area right there. And then that little project will be done. And then finally, I think, I'm going to be working on the bench, excuse me, the bench seat here for the the aft section of the boat.
All right, so I got all the eye bolts installed. That was kind of tricky to film. I didn't get a whole lot of footage of that, but hope it gave you the idea of how I installed that. So I've got the two now uh, mounted on the stern. Those will be really handy. And then I also have this one on the bow. Now, I, I really haven't explained this little block at all. Now, the reason the block is there is because I have this bolt coming straight out of the boat. Basically, it would be parallel with the water line. Uh, and I don't know, I, I like the idea of installing it like this instead of coming out at a perpendicular angle from the end of the hole right here. But in order to do so, I had to, you know, had to adjust this angle in order to make that work. I think that's going to be plenty strong. And then on the inside, let me see if I can get back here. On the inside, I had the same thing going on, uh, you know, adjusting that angle so that there's a flat mounting surface for the bolt to go through and for that plate to rest on. It seems like it would be a very, very strong way to mount that. And, uh, you know, I really wanted this eye bolt to be super beefy. You know, we've been through those cold fronts in the Bahamas, and it's no joke. If you have your your uh, you know dinghy back there behind the boat, I mean, it's 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 really it's really kind of getting thrashed back there in the waves. And I wanted that uh, U bolt to be ultra strong, and I think I accomplished that. Don't know what else to talk about, so I'm going to turn the camera off. <laughs> 